While I was playing some Minecraft, I thought to myself, I wonder how these graphics work. Of course, I already knew how 3D games are made with an engine, but I didn't know how the actual graphics API worked. Now, I could have watched a video on how the API works, but I wanted to make it for myself, so that is exactly what I did. So as you can see here, uh, this is the code for the engine. Of course, this is just the uh, main application C++ file. The actual engine is a single .h file with a lot of code. But first, I'm going to kind of try to explain what's going on in this file. So basically, all you have to do is include this engine.h file in your uh, program and you will be able to make it. To set up the uh, engine, you do cg setup uh, with the width and the height of the window and then you make a render buffer if you want to just make 2D, but if you want 2D and 3D, then you make a render buffer and a depth buffer at the width and the height of the window. And then here you can see I'm creating a camera with the two buffers that I made. The reason that you have to have the uh, normal buffer and the depth buffer in the camera is because the camera is only used in 3D situations. And then here I make a simple mesh renderer, and you can see I'm using uh, the basic shapes thing space to create a cube. And then I input the buffer and the depth buffer, and then I just scale it up. In the start of this uh, update function, I actually clear both of the buffers, which is just a good practice to do. I mean, you don't have to technically do it, but there'll be some weird stuff happening. And then to render the mesh render, I just call camera.render and then I input the mesh render that I want to render. And then for the UI that you can see on the screen right up here, I actually just have the CG fill text and then you specify the render buffer and then the X and Y coordinates and then the text you want to display. And then at the end you have to call the CG render function on your render buffer and it will render it to the window. So, after all of that, I finally have my very own 3D renderer. Now, I'll show you some of the things it can do. This is a spinning cube that I made with the renderer, and as you can see, it runs at a good 200 FPS. In this clip, I move the camera around the world while rendering the cube, and this also runs at 200 FPS. Here, I rotate the camera by the x-axis and the y-axis, and it runs at the same FPS as the last two clips. This is the final render that I made with my engine. The engine is rendering six rotating cubes with the camera getting closer and further from the cubes. It runs a lot slower, but still at a good 40 FPS. Thank you guys for watching this video. The source code to the project is in the description, so if you'd like to play with it for yourself, take a look. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.